everyone this is Stacy from everything about Korea so last last week I posted a vlog of me and my family going on a trip to Onyang in this video I'm going to tell you everything about traveling in Onyang not only Onyang but I'll also tell you about other cities around Onyang that you can visit Onyang is one of the main cities in Asan, which is placed in Chungcheongnam-do province. Onyang has been very famous for its hot spring, and as my mom told me, it was one of the places in Korea where my grandparents' generation used to go for their honeymoon. Many of the kings from the Joseon dynasty also visited Onyang to enjoy the hot spring. Actually, the name Onyang City has been changed to Asan City in 1995. However, since Onyang was so famous for Onyang Hot Spring, many people still call Asan City as Onyang City. So currently, there are Onyang Town from 1 to 6 in Asan City. If you wish to go to Onyang by subway, you have to take the subway line 1 to go to the Onyang Onchan Station. If you don't have a car, I recommend you to stay in Onyang Town or just go to the place you want straight from where you leave. Um, you can take buses to go from one place to another, but it will take quite a bit of time since it is not a big city like Seoul, which means the transportation system is not as great as you can experience in big cities. If you have a car, it will be much easier for you. It will be better to travel around Onyang. Uh, it takes around 1 hour to 1 hour and 30 minutes to go from Seoul to Onyang. And if you live in Gyeonggi-do, then it will take around an hour to get there. That's not really a far place to go. So, first thing that you can enjoy, of course, will be hot spring. The first place I would recommend you would be Onyang Hot Spring Hotel or the Chael Hotel Onyang. In Korean, it is Onyang Gwangwang Hotel and Onyang Jail Hotel. So both of the hotels are very close to the Onyang Onchan Station. It's only around 3 to 5 minutes walk, which is not that far. And both of them are pretty old, but you can enjoy the hot spring water in your room. Uh, Chael Hotel has the Korean spa in the basement. So if you're not really used to Korean spas, then you might just want to enjoy it in your room. Or you might want to go to the Onyang Hot Spring Hotel, which has like an outside hot spring that you can enjoy. Um, I stayed in the Chael Hotel and the room condition wasn't that bad, despite the fact that it is old. If you want to enjoy hot spring in your own room it, and doesn't have a car to go somewhere far, then they wouldn't be a bad choice. And plus, uh, if you stay in both of the hotels, there is the market really nearby the hotels. And there are lots of restaurants you can eat outside, so it will make your trip a lot more easier. Second place I would recommend you would be the Asan Spavis. Um, it's like a water park type of hot spring. There are slides, wave pool, outdoor and indoor hot spring pools. It also has the Korean spa and resort you can stay in. So let me just show around the website and show you how it looks like. This is the website of the Asan Spa Vist. Click onto the water park and click onto the top one. So this is the cost of the entrance fee and the things you can borrow inside. Make sure not to forget your swimsuits. If you didn't bring one, you can buy it there. These are the steps of using the spa, but if you don't get it, then just carefully observe what other Koreans are doing. These are the different kinds of pools in Asan Spa Vist. It's pretty big and there are lots of things that you can enjoy. The locker key you get will be the method of your payment, so please do not lose it. Last hot spring place I would recommend would be the Paradise Spa Dogo. So in Korean, it's Paradise Spa Dogo. So this one, I'll just directly show you the website. The best thing about Paradise Spa Dogo is that it provides English and Chinese, so it might be better for you to look around the website. 
It has different kinds of pools just like Asan Spavis, but it's a little bit more expensive than Asan Spavis. I think it's because it has been newly built. There used to be the night spot, but I think it's closed due to Corona. You have to wear your swimsuits here too, but if you didn't bring it, you can rent it here. This website also shows you how to use the facilities, and you can also figure out how much it costs. When the night spa is closed, it usually finishes around 6 to 7. And if you have a baby with you, then you can buy the waterproof diapers here. Furthermore, not only the spa, but you can also do the luxurious camping. If you have a bit of more free time than enjoying the hot spring, I recommend you to visit some places outside the town. So the first place I recommend would be the Wei Am village. The Weyam village has been designated as an important folklore cultural asset number 236. And if you have seen my video, it's a really quiet, peaceful place. And it has like the traditional type of houses in Korea. The town has been formed around like 500 years ago. And there are still people living there. Um, the residents there provide different activities that you can enjoy. So if you want to try to see how like an old Korean town would look like or if you want to experience making things like making some Korean traditional things there then it might be a good place for you to visit it's a little bit far from the town so you might need a cart to visit um, if you want to stay there for a night they also provide B&B so I think it might be a good place to stay Onyang Onchan traditional market is really close to the station and I think it's only around 7 to 10 minutes walk and you can eat delicious things there, you can look around to see how the market would look like. I think it has been renovated so it's very clean and real, well organized. Okay, last place I'm going to recommend would be Gongseri Catholic Church. This place was just absolutely beautiful. It has been designated as like the most beautiful Catholic church in Korea, I think in 2018. It looks beautiful at night, but when you go during the daytime, you can see the Pyeongtaeko right behind the church. And the church isn't that big, it's really small, but it's really pretty. It's really pretty. Especially I went during the winter time and they still had the Christmas decorations on. It was absolutely amazing. So, how was my trip to Asan? If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment below. If you want to know anything more about it, feel free to ask me. Um, I hope if you have a chance to go to Asan, my video could be really helpful to you guys. And I'll see everyone next time. Annyeong!